Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest baby trapping video. Today I'll be showcasing some clips on my 85 million mite baby trap. So starting off with the first clip, uh, the first clip I'm basically just baiting by burning hives and stuff like that. So I'll go to a empty hive, burn a bunch of people, make it look like I have a bunch of troops out and try to get someone to actually jump on me and try and solo attack me. Uh, so this guy FFS, uh, I don't know what his actual name is though. Uh, D R T T K Racer. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he decided to port on me. Uh, he had some purple and gold gear. Nothing crazy. A lot of times when I have am trapping, I'm always looking to see who's online, who might hit me, and all that. Because as a baby trap, you cannot take every single hit. There's going to be people out there that will be able to burn you and pretty much destroy your whole comp in one solo attack. So you got to make sure that those people are not around when you're trying to solo tap, or if you're baiting, or if you're in a kingdom, like... Try to pick kingdoms with very weak people or people, let's say, you know they're in a Chinese guild, so you know they're sleeping at a certain time. So that's when you go and trap when that certain like super strong guy is sleeping. So that's kind of what you got to make sure. Uh, during KVK, it's much harder because you don't know what you're kind of going up against. You do kind of have to scout before you start KVK every single person that's in the other kingdom that might be strong. Uh, that's what I do if I'm doing KVK, especially a four-way KVK. I will port into every every single kingdom right when KVK starts, go through the, the list of all the people in the kingdom, check who has like mythic champ and stuff. And if there is mythic champ people, I might not even do that KVK. Um, sometimes I am a little more like uh, ballsy about it. Uh, this KVK I was because there was some really, really strong people, but I was purposely porting around guilds that weren't as strong. Uh, hopefully didn't have any allies with guilds that were super strong too because keep in mind like I said you are an 85 mil mic trap you are not made to take max hits or anything like that obviously that's what main solo traps and stuff are and the main solo traps right now are 150 mil to 200 mil plus right now so uh, as an 85 mil mic trap you are not part of that group so you got to make sure you're trapping the right people uh, I'm not saying you can't be 85 mil or 30 mil might in trap you just got to make sure you are trapping the right people and you are very careful about it because obviously if you're an open kingdom like I am with this account uh, you got to be super careful about it but if you're in a closed kingdom and there's not many strong people then you could totally be lower might so keep that in mind and this is kind of what's showing you and seeing you'll kind of see in this video what kind of hits you can take and stuff like that because uh, even with tempering and stuff, again, the lower might people or lower like strength people won't have tempering anyways. They won't have full mythic gear. They won't have tempering. So you don't really have to worry about any of those updates. Uh, counter research is kind of the main thing you got to worry about. Do they have that? Because then they can do quite a bit of damage to you. But the like the top tier mythic champ uh, tempering stuff, you don't have to worry about that. Because guess what? You're not trying to take those guys on this account anyways. Like you're trying to actively avoid people like that. So anyways, again, I am during KVK here. Uh, there was a little bit of an attack. I thought they might go in for a gangbang here. Uh, this guy actually had quite good gear, but he ended up just setting a rally on me. Um, I'm not sure why, because guess what? He probably could have soloed me, because look at his gear. <laughs> He's got full mythic gear. So again, this baby trap is not made for full mythic gear people. It's made for, like, say, lower guys. So I was kind of getting worried. And again, like I said, I was being a little more ballsy than normal, because usually if I saw a full mythic guy around, I wouldn't be going into fury and trying to trap. But I was like, ah, let's test it out anyways. And let's just hope they don't send Cav, because if they send Cav, I am completely uh, destroyed on this account, because I haven't turned it into a tier 3 frontline. I initially made this to be a tier tier 3 frontline range, but um, for whatever, whatever reason, I just stopped at C18, and I'm now running a tier 2 frontline with a tier 3 backline for no, for no reason whatsoever. Again, if I was going to do that, I probably should have just built tier 3 infantry, but um, I might go up to C20 and get that uh, range frontline pretty soon anyways. Anyways, but the one thing about C18 is you only have a 5-minute Fury, so you can actually go into Fury and bait that way, so I, I was kind of trying to stay at C18, but I, I told him, whatever. Anyways, back, back to the video. Uh, this guy went for a couple uh, just basically solo attacks, no leader or anything like that, just some tier 4, uh, tier 2 attacks. Again, he is giving me double points because this is KVK, and uh, this is the 4-way KVK, the last 4-way one, so 
couple KBKs ago. So, um, yeah, so this was him going in. He decided not to go in for anything other than that. Um, I'm sitting around 84 mil might. So, again, I guess he sent those two attacks. Uh, didn't get what he wanted. He sent a cab blast that did 138,000. So, again, even even leaderless cab blasts are doing quite a bit of damage to me with uh, the counter research. Obviously, this guy was 1.3 billion might, so he probably has the counter research done. At least I'd assume he has the counter research done if he's that might. Uh, again, you can cap any might. It really depends on their gear because if the guy could be 2 billion might with like really crappy gear you can cap him easily but if someone who's like 100 million might with really good gear ports next to you then you might have trouble so anyways uh this is going to be the fun part this is the gangbang um at this point uh this was a russian guild um so i kind of was expecting a gangbang because russian guilds love to gangbang you for whatever reason so uh they decided to go for a little gangbang on my uh baby trap here it's kind of the first gangbang i ever took i did have some uh, what's called uh stuff in my sanctuary so i'm just gonna pull that out right now since they knocked me down ended up being about the same might <laughs> even though I lost some troops because I had some stuff ready in the sanctuary to go, so just pulled out some tier 3. Uh, one of the guys did go in for a uh, Rick Cav Blast. That one hurt quite a bit, and you kind of see that when we go for the reports. Again, they're not finished, though. I only have two leaders at this point, I think. So um, they started, did a mini gangbang. Someone actually got their leader back with the uh, prison break, so got they got lucky with that 10% uh, back. But you can see, yeah, I was taking a little bit of reds here. Um, that's another thing as a C18 is your beds are way 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 smaller uh than it would be if you were obviously a c25 with 600k so i only have like 380k bed so um that's kind of what i gotta worry about this guy this guy's speeding up let's see how much damage he's gonna do uh 303,000. it looks like um was someone else attacked me at the same time oh yeah there was another guy coming in as well so another guy decided to come in he decided to cancel i think um i guess i capped that guy and he Oh, no, did he hit me? No, that's a graphical glitch. Sorry. Someone else recalled, apparently. Uh, I don't know who was attacking me, but they recalled. And another guy's porting in here. And there is a couple really strong people in this guild, so i got to be really careful about it. I did check on this guild, and there was some mythic champ guys. So, um... I, I was really lucky they were not online, because this guy was going in, and I think another guy's coming in. He... Like I canceled for the 25th time and then obviously I get the watchtower glitch on that which is not good when you're trying to trap so uh let's take a look at this this guy has was quite strong that was an infantry blast I think he might have had some pack five familiars in there it looks like Don Diablo so all these guys are not like full mythic champ but this guy's got some mythic gear some gold uh cups and stuff like that so he's a decent attacker the other guy who hit me had some mythic pieces in his cab blast and obviously they don't know what my front line is but if if they knew what a C18 was, they would know I only have an infantry front line. So what they should be doing is going cab and then going range after the people go cab and take out my front line because um, I'd be sitting in infantry phalanx. So once you take out my infantry, it's into my cab. So um, obviously got to wor be worried about that. Um, if, uh, well, I mean, they just, they obviously didn't know. So anyway, so uh, we'll take a look and see if the leaders and stuff are on this guy. Um, there is no rally set on me. I was expecting a rally set after that. But I know in their guild they do have some really good people, like full mythic guys, um, like really good uh, leads and stuff like that. But thankfully for me, they were not online during this gangbang. I actually did a little bit of a gangbang test right before this to see who would pour on me. And I kind of looked at all the gear before I went in and actually I actually shielded the first gangbang from this guild, which I wasn't recording because um, I didn't know they were going to gangbang. I shielded the first one, actually poured it away, poured it back with my shield broken then they went in for again for a second gangbang and since i saw who kind of showed up in the first one i kind of knew how strong they were because I was, I was kind of testing to see if one of those uh what's called really strong mythic guys would show up and, and hit me uh they do end up showing up later and i end up shielding that solo attack but i didn't get a recording because they poured on me i just had the shield right away didn't have time to put the recorder on uh so this guy actually just went tier 2 tier 4 and he still did 800k to my front line so keep in mind that's why i do not want to take uh counters on this account because it is so weak uh not that my attack is weak it's just i have so little hp and defense on this account that um a counter that would do not crazy amount of damage on a main account is going to do way more on, against me even though i almost have 300 mix keep in mind i almost have 300 mix on this account but my hp and defense are literally like zero so um i do take tons of damage that guy got his leader back uh this guy did about 303,000. it was a range blast so obviously um wasn't a full counter or anything like that does have decent familiars has the griffin and the stacking familiar he also has tier five um he went tier two tier four tier five 
right there. So tier five account. Uh, then this guy went in, Don Diablo. He was quite strong. He had two cups, uh, a bunch of myth mythic pieces as well. Did uh, 519. He does have a pack five familiar, and he went tier four, tier five. So that was a tier four, tier five blast with a single pack five familiar and the stacking familiar in there. So he's obviously decently strong on that guy. Um, not full mythic or anything like that. So not crazy stats, but those are kind of the guys I want to be trapping, even though I'm taking a little bit of reds because it is what it is. Like that's kind of what trapping is if you're trying to trap on a low might account nowadays. That's kind of what happened. Again, like I said, uh, one of their full myth mythic guys pour on me he had mythic champ and he he went in for cab blast i shielded that literally right away because again i looked at their full list saw what the names were of their best attackers and as soon as the guy poured next to me i was just like shield i like i didn't even have to look at his gear because i'd already done that and memorized his name because i kind of knew who their better attackers were so anyways um <laughs> this is actually a continuation of the previous video uh, i think it was uh was it Monday or Tuesday's video? Um, apparently we zeroed one of the guys, you probably saw it at the end of the video, and then I forgot to put this part on, but I guess that video was getting long anyways. But one of their members decided to set a rally on me for whatever reason, and they only had two people join. This guy's 84 mil might. I was like, I thought it was a fake rally, and then I was like, I I'll put turn on the recorder anyways, why not? And then I decided, and then they actually uh, sent in, I was like, Oh, huh, there's actual troops in this rally. <laughs> Never mind, I'm just going to pour it away. So apparently they're get, trying to just give me some free troops so, uh, or free kills. So I was like, okay, <laughs> whatever was going on there. But anyways, that will be the end of today's video. Um, do have some more baby trapping clips coming out. Um, mostly you're just actually going to be um, Dragon Arena because I haven't been trapping on this account too much. It's really hard to find the right kingdom because like I said, you can't go into... Uh, uh, like max account kingdoms and stuff like that, or you will get one banged. And I can't go into the new kingdoms yet because um, they're still restricted and my, my account's way too old. So anyways, if you have a younger account, maybe you can go into those. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, we'll have some more trapping clips coming out this week. Oh yeah, KVKs in a couple days, so hopefully, hopefully you guys have it. Oh, before we go, I gotta give a shout out to one of the people who was helping with the gem giveaway. I'm just saying uh, K4M is recruiting, so uh, hopefully I said that right. It's K4M or KM4. Uh, <laughs> one of those two is recruiting, so uh, go check them out. They're looking for some rally leads and some fillers and some tier fives and singles and stuff like that. So go check out that guild. So shout out to them for helping out with the giveaway. And anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.